Okay, so I'm asked to complete the Venn diagram, and the E at the top, I like to think, uh, stands for everything. So all of those numbers need to fit somewhere in this Venn diagram. And we're going to put the square numbers on the left and the odd numbers on the right. Now, there's different methods of doing this. What I like to do with this type of question is just do it one at a time. So we're going to start off with the 16. Now, 16 is a square number, but it's not odd. So I'm going to leave that here. 75. Now, 75 is not a square number, but it is odd. So I'm going to put that there. Now, 1 is a square number and it's odd. So that's going to go in the middle. 4 is a square number, but it's not odd. 28. Now, 28 is not a square number and it's not odd. So that's going to go out here. 9 is a square number and it's odd. That's going to go there. 93 is not a square number, but it is odd. And 2 is not a square number or odd. That's going to go on the outside here. And I like to just add them up, uh, find out how many numbers we've got in our Venn diagram. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And find out how many numbers we should have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we haven't missed any because it's quite easy with this type of question to miss a number out.